The ability to translate numeric information into a visual image has long been one of Excel's greatest strengths. We're talking about the ability to create a chart. Some people call them graphs, but in Excel, officially and formally, we call these charts. Many times the data that you're trying to display is a small amount compared with large database type lists. Uh, suppose we want to show the information that we're seeing in columns A and B. Usually when you're creating a chart, you decide which data it is you want to appear in the chart simply by clicking and dragging to highlight the information. And there are numerous approaches to starting. You might notice when you select data, you will see a button in the lower right hand corner here. This is the quick analysis button. If you click this button, you will see a number of different aspects regarding what you might want to do with that data, including charts. And so possibly you might say, even if you're not familiar with these terms, what's that mean? And we see a preview above what, what that does mean. Clustered column, clustered bar, pie. Well, maybe we'll try one of these. Clustered column. And suddenly we have a chart. Now, that's one approach to charting. It may not be the best, but that certainly is fast, and it gives you a quick visual read. Is that going to be important to display along with the data, or does it tell the story by itself? And at times, you'll change your mind about that idea. How about another approach? Highlight the data in question, go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then slide over the button Recommended Charts. You see the description, click, and we'll see some choices, pretty much the same ones we saw from that previous button. So we can make our choices this way. Maybe we want to see a bar chart. You can double click this or having clicked it, click OK. And we'd have to do some cleanup work on that because of what we see at the bottom. You can move these charts by dragging their borders or clicking just inside the border and dragging. We probably don't want to keep both of these. If we want to get rid of a chart, we'll simply press delete. Let's get rid of this one too. Click, press delete. Another approach is that you have a clear idea ahead of time as to which kind of chart you might want. In that case, click the insert tab. And instead of going to recommended charts, go to the chart type that you know you want to use. Perhaps it's a column chart. Click the drop arrow, and we see some variations here. In this case, maybe not a whole lot of difference in some of these, but maybe you're interested in the 3D choice, so make your choice that way. Let's delete that as well. The fastest way, not necessarily the best, and it does give you a chart that you may not prefer, is simply after selecting the data, press Alt F1, and you'll get a chart right next to the data on the screen that way. So there are numerous ways to create charts, and the basic idea is you're trying to get a visual depiction of the data. Let's get rid of this one as well and focus on the other data that we see here. In this example here, if we were to highlight all the data, we might be in for a slight surprise and not something terrible, but the idea of showing total information and detail information typically doesn't work so well. So if we go to the Insert tab, take a look at some of the recommended charts we might see here. And the more you look at some of the options here, the more you realize that the totals are appearing in these options. And that might not be what you want, the grand totals. See how it appears here? And maybe distort's not the right word, but it certainly skews the charting in a way that you might not prefer. Let's cancel this and select only the data that does not include totals. And then perhaps click Recommended Charts. And now we see some displays here that I think make a lot better sense. I think this is what most people would consider using. So maybe we like this choice, we'll click OK. So numerous approaches to creating charts, all of them relatively fast, to give us that good, quick visual image. Remember, if this is the chart that you do want, you might want to position the chart in such a way that you're displaying the chart as well as the data to complement the data that you've created.